all right guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about things that you need to know before going into nursing school or becoming a nurse many people that i'm going to school with feel exactly the same way so that's how i came up with this list of things that you should know before get into nursing all right so the number one thing i would say is something that you need to know before even considering being a nurse is the process of becoming a nurse is challenging and it's definitely not for everyone now by me saying this i don't want to discourage anybody from going into nursing school but the reality is that it is a very challenging time when you are in nursing school and you do have to put in a lot of effort you have to be very dedicated you have to really want it more than anybody and the reason why I say that you really have to want it is because there's gonna be times in nursing school that you're not always going to be motivated to do something but as long as you still love the profession and you still feel and know that this is really what I want to do that is going to push you through the whole session because I'm telling you there's times that I'm like I don't feel like doing homework but then just thinking about you know graduating and actually working as a nurse that always just you know gives me that extra boost that I need to continue doing what I'm doing another thing that I would like to mention and I think this is a very positive thing but um, being a nurse is one of the most respected and trusted careers there is out there it's been proven year after year nursing has been top respected and trusted careers so I think it's really it's really nice to be part of something that when you tell someone oh, I'm in nursing school they literally hug you like oh my god I love nurses you guys are amazing so I already get the love I am NOT a nurse I am NOT a working nurse yet but I am a nurse student and trust me I already feel the love from people anytime I tell a stranger I'm in nursing school or I want to be a nurse I get all the love and you know encouragement like you guys are awesome they tell me stories about when their kid was in a hospital and they had all the support from a nurse or when they had a baby or just like experiences they have interacted with a nurse before and it's all positive stories so it just I don't know it's really nice to to tell people you're a nurse because you always get like a positive feedback when they find out you're in nursing school okay so another thing that you should know before becoming a nurse or starting nursing school is that there's always gonna be that one person that is a nurse and hates her job and she's gonna try to talk you out of it like I actually just experienced this about two weeks ago I'm not gonna say where how because they might be watching this video but they actually I was talking to them and I was like oh my god I didn't know you were a nurse that's awesome and she looked at me and she's like I hate my job do not go into nursing school if I could go back I would switch my career to being a teacher or being something else because nursing freaking sucks and she just went on and on and on and I'm sitting there with like other people and I could see other people staring at me because they knew I'm in nursing school at the end of the conversation I was like I'm sorry that you haven't had the best experience I tried talking to her about why she felt the way she felt and it was just I don't know from what I took from it it seemed like she didn't like helping others and I don't want to make her sound like a bad person but she just she was just like they just always need something from you and they they can't do anything for themselves so you're kind of like always there helping them I don't know I just feel like let's say I was a nurse and I'm talking to someone that is going into nursing school I'm not gonna sit here and bash nursing because I mean my experience is my experience that doesn't mean that's gonna be your experience so the fact that people will literally sit there and try to talk you out of it because they hate their job it just blows my mind it was almost like she was projecting all her fears and dislikes onto me and I didn't appreciate that but it's not the first time that happened so be aware that you're always gonna get those people that will scare you and tell you nursing sucks nursing this nursing that always remember what you started and always remember that their experiences is not going to be your experience so separate that to say thank you but no thank you okay so another thing that I would like to bring up is 
becoming a nurse is not always glamorous actually it's not glamorous at all i am not a nurse but i've worked as a pct so i've worked hand in hand with a nurse so i know what they do i think sometimes social media or i don't know people can make nursing look like nursing is this glamorous career like oh my god i'm a nurse i just bought a mercedes no 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 it's definitely not like that it's actually the opposite nursing is everything but glamorous you know you go into work and you are helping sick people sometimes you will get fluids on you you will get bm you will get puke you will get pee you will get blood all kinds of things on you it's not just something that you just show up and you save lives in order to save lives you go through all these steps you know it's a lot of critical thinking so it's it's not what sometimes i feel like social media like i said can make it seem like it's glamorous but it's not so if you're going into nursing school thinking well i'm just gonna be passing pills and just hanging out it's definitely not like that so that's why that's one of the reasons why i always recommend people to be a CNA or a PCT before becoming a nurse because trust me, you get to see the reality of what it is to be a nurse. I always say this, if you enjoy being a PCT, you will love, love being a nurse. I personally enjoy being a PCT, although it's hard work and it's very heavy work, you know, I enjoyed it. I like my job. So that's how I know that nursing is definitely for me because I love you know helping people i didn't you know i kind of got used to all the crazy things you see but yeah it's definitely not glamorous so always keep that in mind and do your research and if you can become a cna or a pct prior to becoming a nurse so another thing you should know before becoming a nurse or becoming a nursing student is that be prepared for family members friends random people ask you about different things happening with themselves i will literally get people like oh my god so this happened to me and like now i have a rash right here do you think i have this and i'm just like people don't understand that us nurses cannot diagnose people we cannot be like oh yeah this is cancer you're constipated we can't really do that so i think it's so funny that ever since i started nursing school i get you know my mom saying like hey mija tengo esto and i'm just like mom i don't know like i i, I don't know now i do i do feel like i'm i'm more knowledgeable in a lot of things like you know if someone's taking their blood pressure and it's really low i'm like hmm, you should probably do this or do that i understand that i am more aware that a regular person would just because i'm studying the medications and i'm studying different diseases and all that if you tell me all your signs and symptoms i'm not going to be able to come up with a diagnosis in the top of my head one i'm not a doctor and i haven't graduated you know and even if i graduate even if i'm a nurse i can't really tell you oh it's it's this you know what i mean so be prepared because people feel like she's a nurse student so i'm gonna ask her and tell her all my business i just find it so cute when like my friend or like my family member calls me and like tells me like oh this happened like what is it i'm like sir i don't know another thing is and this is probably one of the main reasons why i wanted to become a nurse is because well obviously i love helping people but i love the fact that as a nurse you can try so many different careers you can be in administration you do emergency you can do peds you can do mental health i mean there is so much you can do recently i discovered aesthetic nursing which i'm very very interested in. as you know i've made a whole video about this i love the fact that you you know you graduate as a nurse and you're not stuck with one thing and one thing only so one thing i definitely recommend you guys is as a nurse or a nursing student do not put pressure on yourself to know or figure out what you like i think the beautiful thing about being a nurse is that you're able to try different things obviously if there's one thing that you really love let's say ob is everything you expected you can obviously you know continue your education in that field but as a nursing student i don't think you should put all that pressure like oh my god i'm graduating in six months i need to know what i want to do i think 
you should just try different things and you know apply for different jobs be open-minded and try different fields so i really love this about nursing because like i said you're not stuck doing one thing i know many people that graduate with their careers and they find out they actually hate what they do and although yes you can get another job it's not you know in your description so what i love about nursing is that you can do your job you can be a nurse in so many different fields and you know you can try many things until you find something that you truly really love another thing that you should know before becoming a nurse is that there's going to be many things that are really gross that you see that you smell it's not like you become adjusted to it because obviously you know a smell is a smell and it's always going to smell bad but I promise you it becomes better. You kind of get adjusted to like seeing really crazy things. If you are a person that is very sensitive to like smells or if you are doubting yourself, I don't know if I can be a nurse because I hate blood or I hate this. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Don't let that stop you because I know many nurses that are the same way, but they find a way to work with patients. You know, they either call a PCT for help or, you know, there's other fields that you can go to that you don't have to ever see blood. Don't let the smells, don't let the visuals keep you away from becoming a nurse because I promise you, one, you will become very used to all that stuff. And two, there's other things that you can do that you would never have to even touch or smell things like that all right so another thing that i want to bring up and this is coming from my pct experience because obviously i'm still in nursing school so i don't know what it is to have a bad day as a nurse but i do know what it is to have a bad day as a pct when i was working as a pct there was many times that you and the nurse work as a team to provide care to provide quality care and there are many times that you are not able to do so because of different factors maybe the patient is very sick and the nurse has tried many things and you have tried to give the patient the most comfort you know just try helping the patient to the best of your ability and there's times that you know you can try everything and patients pass away or they continue to get sick but something that you always have to remind yourself is that you can't always save everyone and i know that sounds very very harsh but the reality is that you go in as a medical professional to try and help others and you know you want the best for your patients but it doesn't always go as planned i'm so grateful for the experience that i got as a pct because i was able to go through those things and at first it was really really hard and i'm not gonna lie it took me time to feel okay with things going wrong when i first started i would literally come home and i would talk to my husband about the patients and not like personal information but just like a general idea of what happened and i i would cry and i remember this specific patient that we had he was doing well all day he was an older man and daughter was there to pick him up to take him home for the holidays and he just started getting really sick and throughout the night he just got sicker and sicker and we ended up sending him to the ER because he just couldn't breathe he was literally puking blood it was my first time being in the same room with a family member and a very sick patient and honestly just hearing the daughter crying to her father and saying like dad thanksgiving is in two days like you have to feel better and i'm there you know taking vitals and the whole thing's happening and the client is just getting sicker and sicker like i said we ended up sending him to the emergency room and that night i came home and i just remember hugging my husband and just crying and i took all that stress back home at the same time we're humans and it's hard not to you know feel empathy for people but as a nurse you're gonna be going through that so many times so it's so important to go through all your emotions when you're at work but definitely disconnect and come home and just <sighs> distress because it's definitely not healthy if you're bringing all that energy back home i can see that the beginning is definitely hard and like i mentioned for me it was really hard and i cry many times i would come home and i would just be crying you know a patient died or we had to send a 
patient to the emergency room it's just it was so much i promise you i definitely question this because i will feel very anxious sometimes like oh my god like what if when i'm a nurse like it's just gonna be worse because technically that's kind of all on me like the patient you know it's a pct i don't have all the responsibility i just have to provide data to my nurse i give her you know the vital signs and just making sure the patient's breathing and all those stuff but at the end of the day the nurse is the one that is responsible for everything so i just kept thinking to myself if i feel all this pressure as a pct will i be okay with you know being a nurse and having all the pressure myself but honestly you just have to believe in yourself and as long as you're doing everything you can and you're helping the patient in every way possible there's no reason why you should feel guilty and like i said go home and you know distress with your husband if you have to talk about it but just leave it at that and don't you know don't make yourself feel guilty because that's just that's just not healthy another thing that i think it makes everything worth it is that nursing is a very very rewarding career again i mention it i'm talking from my pct experience and not as a nurse but i can only imagine how rewarding it is when you can take your patient from a very critical situation to feeling better as a pct i felt very proud of many things that i did so i can imagine what it is to being a nurse and doing all that for your patient all the critical thinking all the critical care and just being successful at it i can only imagine the reward of seeing a patient leaving the hospital when they came in really you know really sick and they're leaving happy walking with their family so there's always that other side of you know seeing bad things there's always that positive side and i think there's nothing like it and i've talked to many nurses and they tell me that is probably their favorite part about being a nurse is when patients get to go home when patients get to go home to their families there's many times that patients feel like they're not gonna make it but they do and that feeling is just something that they will never exchange or trade for anything else being a nurse is is very challenging from so many ways from becoming a nurse you know the process of being a nurse to actually being a nurse all the work the things that you're gonna go through but at the end of the day being a nurse is worth it you know being a nurse is just something that i don't know i'm just so proud of being in this community of nurses i love calling myself a nurse student and i feel so proud every time i say it just because i know the difference that nurses make in this world and i know that being a doctor is super cool but nurses at the end of the day are the ones hand in hand working with the patient seeing the patient suffer seeing the patient getting better and just experiencing all that with the patient so i'm just so excited to to become a nurse and just to live my own experience all right guys i really hope you enjoy this video if you are a nurse watching this video please let us know other things that we should know before becoming a nurse because i know there's a lot of people starting nursing school like literally this week so let us know other things that we should know before becoming a nurse please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment because i promise you that helps me a lot thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one Mwah.